Okay, today I'm going to show you how to clean a cast iron pan. Now you can see when I do a close up here, all that built up years of seasoning and layers of rust and whatever built up underneath there. Um, you know, overall, this, the cooking surface isn't bad, but those edges are, are awful. Uh, you can see the bottom, it's got some good rust and uh, build up there. And we're gonna clean this up, hopefully to look like brand new and then give it some nice coats of seasoning using electrolysis method. Basically just using a basic battery, 12 volt battery charger. Um, I have a bucket here with, uh, I put hot water because it's pretty cold outside today. So I'm hoping this uh, doesn't freeze up on me by the time the pan's clean. A uh, piece of steel, iron, um, I got bolted to the one side of the, the bucket there in the bucket. I have mixed with the hot water one cup of uh, Arm & Hammer Super Washing Soda, which is basically uh, sodium carbonate. Um, not baking soda, baking soda is bicarbonate. You do not want to use that. You want to use this washing soda. Uh, I'm going to get this all set up here, and uh, I will check back in a second once everything's hooked up. Okay, I got everything hooked up here. <clears throat> basically, you always want to put the red, the positive terminal on the steel and the negative terminal on your pan. And I have that suspended in there with this wooden dowel. Um, the only part that's not gonna get cleaned well is the part that's above the water. I could raise that water level a little bit, but that tip of the handle, I'm not really concerned about it. I could scrub that out with some steel wool if need be. Um, if you have the negative and positive reversed, it's gonna cause problems. You're gonna put all the rust from that piece of iron on your pan. So you wanna make sure positive on the junk metal, negative on your good pan your cast iron okay um, you can see the electrolysis is working if you can see through the steam of the hot water there um, it's bubbling up and it started bubbling instantly I just turned this on seconds ago um, and that's about it basically all the electrolysis is going to pull all that crud off the pan and uh, put it in the water or adhere it to that piece of scrap steel I'm going to let this go for about four or five hours come back and check on it and uh, we'll see where we are Okay, so I actually left this go for a little bit longer than I said. Um, I came out and checked on it. Um, I had a little issue with my clamp here. It uh, was uh, not having a good connection, so the charger wasn't putting the, uh, the juice to that clamp. So I actually just stripped the clamp off and temporarily just uh, twisted it around the end of the, the handle there. But uh, basically, you know, doing the same thing as the clamp. Um, you see it's all foamed up and uh, rusty water. Um, it is done. I, I pulled it out quick and took a peek at it. Um, so I'm going to pull it out now. And uh, let's see what I'll do is unplug the charger and take it inside and clean it up here. Overall, this thing was in here. It, I left it in overnight. I did unplug it before I went to bed last night. So uh, I didn't like the idea of leaving it on. So it did ice up a little bit in there. But it still did its job here. I'll take this inside but and clean it up in the sink for the next step. But you see all them pieces on there. Look at that, it's nice and clean. Took all the rust off, all that built up coating, all them layers. And then take this inside, scrub it with a little steel wool lightly, oil it, put it in the oven for uh, 15 or I'm sorry, 400 degrees for uh, about an hour and uh, bake in some uh, some lard or some baking grease all in the coat it in the oil. I'm going to do that like two or three times and uh, it'll be just like brand new and well seasoned. But that's basically it. That shows what the uh, electrolysis unit does there. Good luck.